Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. It's Laura for the Wow in Boston channel and today I've got a really fun tutorial using Wow Fab Foils. I'm going to be using these gorgeous stamps from Wow. Uh, Tropical is by Marian Emerson and then we've got that lovely thank you sentiment stamp set. And I'm going to be using the gold fab foil. If you've not used fab foil before, why not? You're really missing out. It's an excellent way of adding foil to your cards without the need for a foiling machine. And I'm going to show you just how to do that. I'm going to be using the Wow Bonding Powder today. And I'm going to show you how to use it so that you get a really crisp impression with the foil. The bonding powder is very fine, a bit like a clear embossing powder, but it's very, very fine powder. And I'm going to be using the Wow Superior Smooth White Cardstock today to stamp on. But of course, you can use whatever card you've got in your stash. I've already cut my panel down to size and I'm first of all going to use my anti-static powder bag just to make sure there's no static where my fingers have touched that paper. So next I'm going to bring in this stamp. So this is the Tropical Stamp by Marion Amberson. It's already attached to my acrylic block. And then I've got the Wow Embossing Sticky Ink Pad. And I'm just going to ink up this stamp, just like you would if you were using normal ink. But you want to make sure that you've got really good coverage. So make sure your ink pad is nice and juicy. And then I'm going to line that up and stamp it down. Now I'm working on a scrap piece of paper underneath my card panel, just because the stamp's going to overhang my card panel and I don't want to get any of the ink on my desk. So that's the only reason for the scrap piece of paper. I'm just going to make sure I've got really good pressure on that stamped image and then you'll be able to see here on the camera just about that beautiful impression that we've got. So I'm just going to flip that scrap piece of paper over now because I'm going to pull the bonding powder all over that panel and then I'll be able to put the excess back in the bottle. I'm just going to use my reverse tweezers just so that I've got somewhere to grip because obviously the whole panel has got the image on and then I can just tap off the excess and make sure that all of the areas are covered and then I can put the excess back in the bottle. So next we're going to heat set the powder. Now I like to work on a cork mat, it saves me melting anything on my desk and also it diffuses the heat and helps with any kind of warping. And I've got my heat going on the highest setting, so the number two setting, and I'm just heat setting all of that powder. Obviously I've sped this up, it does take about a minute to heat set a whole panel like this. And you'll know when the powder's all melted because it starts to shine and you want to make sure it's had a really good heat. Then you're gonna attach the foil to the panel. So you wanna line it up over the panel, keep it as flat as possible. And um, it doesn't matter if you get a few wrinkles, but you want it to be as smooth as possible. And you can just smooth it over with your hands. Next, you're gonna to wanna to bring in your die cutting machine. So I've got the Sizzix Big Shot, and I've got my base plate, my thin die adapter plate, um, two normal cutting plates, and I have got a little shim, which is just a cutout from a cereal box. That's all it is, it's just a piece of cardboard, and it just gives a little bit of extra pressure, because obviously we don't have a die in. And you can see there the pattern from the stamped image coming through the foil, so you know you've got a really good impression. And then you just peel the foil off, and look at that shine. It is absolutely gorgeous, and no one would know you'd not used a foil machine. It gives such a good impression and it is just so shiny. I mean, I think the camera is picking it up quite well here, but in real life, it's just stunning. And of course, wow, do these foils in a variety of colours. So if gold's not your thing, then you can get these foils in a lot of different colours. And remember, don't throw away the waste. There's lots of foil on there that can still be used, but also you could also use that as a project in its own right. So now I'm going to show you how the foil can also be used as a resist and we're going to turn this into a card. I'm just using a couple of Nouveau shimmer powders and I've just spritzed in it with water. Now remember the WOW cardstock is not watercolour cardstock so you don't want to saturate it. Um, I did find it got soggy very quickly. It's not designed really to be used with water. However, I was able to use it successfully by just um, drying it lightly with the heat tool and making sure I didn't use too much water. And remember, dry it from both sides as well. Again, I'm using my cork mat just so that I don't get any warping and I just give that a really quick dry using the heat tool. Of course, you could just set it to one side to dry naturally, but yeah, I think most of us crafters are a little bit impatient. <laughs> I'm just going to spritz my cloth with some water and just run that over the panel just so that the foil really gets buffed up and you can see all that shine there. There's no powder stuck to it. It acts as a resist and it looks beautiful. So I'm going to use the thank you sentiment and I'm going to use the sub sentiment that says for all you do. And first of all, I'm just going to stamp the thank you in Onyx Black Ink. This is the Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And I'm going to then heat set that with some clear embossing powder just so that it also has a nice shine to it as well. 
Again, I'm making sure I've got a scrap of paper so that I can put all that excess back in the bottle and then I'm going to heat set it with the heat tool on the highest setting, which is the number two. So I'm just going to die cut a heart shape with the sentiment in the middle and then I'm going to stamp the sub sentiment that says for all you do. And I'm going to use the wow fab foils again and this time I'm going to use the white foil. This is great for stamping sentiments on black cardstock. And so again, I'm just going to use my anti-static powder bag on that black piece of cardstock. I'm then going to stamp the sentiment in the wow embossing ink pad. And I'm going to stamp it out a couple of times just in case I make a mistake. I'm then bringing in that scrap piece of cardstock again because we'll need that for when we put the bonding powder on. And I'm just going to cut myself off a little piece of that white fab foil. Again, I'm using my long bladed Tim Holtz scissors to do that. So next, I'm going to coat the sentiment in the bonding powder, tap off the excess, and then I'm going to put the excess back in the bottle before we heat set so that we don't blow it around anywhere. Again, I'm bringing in my cork mat and my die cutting machine, and then I'm going to heat set it. You do have to be relatively quick with getting the foil on as soon as the bonding powder is heated and melted, and then running it through your die cutting machine. And as I peel the foil off, you can see the sentiments have foiled beautifully. I've got a few specks where obviously my anti-static powder bag didn't get off all the static, but that doesn't matter because obviously we're trimming these down. I'm just using my mini Tim Holtz trimmer for this. And then once they're trimmed down, we'll be able to put our cards together. So I've got an A6 card blank. I've got a lovely metallic pink card stock that's going to be a matte layer for that card panel that we've created with the foil and the shimmer powders. So I'm just using some liquid glue just to adhere that down. Then I'm going to add some more liquid glue to the back of that and attach it to our card blank. And then when I come to put this sentiment on the front of the card, I kind of felt like it just needed a little border around it. So I had some metallic gold cardstock, so I just die cut the next size up heart from that. And then the thank you had a little matte layer in gold. Again, I'm just using some liquid glue to attach that down. And then I'm going to pop some foam tape on the back of that, just so that that's popped up in the centre of the card. For the sub sentiment, I'm also going to add some foam tape to that as well. And then to finish off the card, I'm going to add a few little gold gems just to finish it off. So thank you so much for joining me on the Wow Embossing channel today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's inspired you to get some fab foil and give it a go if you've not already. Please don't forget that in the description box below will be links to the Wow blog where you'll be able to find a little bit more information about this tutorial and all the products that I've used along with any links. If you want to come and find me on my own channel, then you can find me on Meerkat Makes by Elle cards by Laura. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're not already subscribed to the Wow Embossing channel then please consider doing so. There's some absolutely fabulous tutorials. Please don't forget to like give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and leave me a comment in the box below and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care.